so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the weekly movie hunt or this week might just be called the weekly pop culture hunt why because there's not a lot of movies coming out i did buy some stuff online so that's probably mainly what we're going to look at is online but hey well i'll just show you how the stores are dry we'll talk about some other releases coming out soon and then we'll look online and then come back here or just skip to the end if you want and then i'll show you what the haul is what are we waiting for let's go Well, not expecting much this week, but we're going to start out in Wally World here. So let's get in there, see if we can find anything at all. I can already tell you there's nothing on the new rack. Look, they still got Mean Girls to sign up, still got Madam Web, Mean Girls... Got a Blu-ray of Beekeeper there. Not much else. So we'll go around the side. This little Netflix section, the only reason I've shown it, they got a ton of stuff that's clearanced. And somebody I was talking to thought this was a pillow. I just want to let you guys know it's not just a pillow. It's a fleece throw in there with a small little mini uh, pillow thing in there. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> but no, it is. These are pillows, so... You can use it as a pillow or or a throw. I thought that was kind of neat. So they're going clearance on all this stuff. So keep an eye out. And then over here, you can hear the cleaner in the background. They got these Dragon Ball Z. There it is. See, my arch nemesis. They got these Dragon Ball Z sets. I know one of you guys were looking for those. So check Walmart out if you're looking for those season series that are exclusive to Walmart. They got the full house there. That nanny is, is cheaper than it was in Big Lots. Unless you're using the 20% off coupon. Check out my Big Lots videos and you'll see what I found in there. So it wasn't anything in the new release section. I thought I'd show the anime section. We don't look at this much because I don't collect anime. So they got a few things. Some cards that are clearance there. And then let's. I'll just show you a couple of the titles that they got down here. If I was going to get any of these to start out watching anime, which one do you recommend? My Hero Academia. There's a Walmart exclusive set of that as well. So that's kind of cool. Anime fans, get your stuff at Walmart. They got a bunch of stuff clearance down here too. So one of some of this Crunchyroll stuff. There's the South Park stuff. But over here, I thought I'd show this is cool. For some reason, they're releasing a bunch of Harley Quinn pops. That's her right there. And there's the classic one I remember. That's the regular DC one. Uh, I think I've got that one. Then you got one with the bat. That's more like the one from the movie, I guess. Yeah, with the baseball bat. So it's three of them. That's kind of, check your Walmart out for that. That's cool. And then I was back here in the toy section. I thought I'd show you something that was pretty neat. Starting to do a lot of figures with these uh themed like video games like streets of rage that's an old sega game i like that that's pretty neat and i really like this one the werewolf from altered beast i used to love playing altered beast i've got that on my my cabinet that i built custom super monkey ball there i think that's the only three different ones they had are there any more if anybody finds any more other than those in their store let me know but Thought I'd show you some of the wrestling stuff I found. They got the Monday Night Wars figures. The Superstars, Doink and Hogan. That's the only one they got. There's a blue Hogan, one with blue tights that I need to get. Then they got that Rocky set. Set just like way too expensive. But look at this tr trash here. Somebody tried, they stole the figure out and put a figure. Is that Wade Barrett with his eyebrows taken off? I don't know, man. So people steal figures and replace them with other ones they got this AEW Supreme I know that that's been out a while it's just now showing up is anybody gonna pay 43 bucks for that that's too fucking high I think not then they got some uh, ultimate editions still got that Bret Hart 
I still say looks like Triple H taking a shit right there and that head scan is terrible. So let's get into Target. Not expecting to find much. Even on an off week, Target's always like a week off. They got Night Swim. $24.99. I don't know anything about that Lawman Bass Reeves. Anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Mean Streets. Mean Streets. Mean Girls. Uh, Madam Web. You are a fucking idiot. Iron Claw. The Wednesday. At least they've got it on Blu-ray. Walmart only had it on DVD. It's $24.99 and it has a slipcover. The Book of Clarence. I might get that later Like when stuff's cheap. What is this? Oh, it's that Taylor Swift. Nonsense. The color purple. Aquaman. Still got the Wonka. Dream scenario. I don't see where they've added anything new over here. Found anything yet? We ain't found shit. Yep, nothing new. So I'll check the toy aisle before we leave them over here. They got these uh, Platinum Edition Batman figures. That's just from the Christian Bale Batman. That's kind of neat. I did pick up that. Uh, remember we saw the Platinum Edition Catwoman? One of you guys were talking about what it was worth. I went back and picked it up. And there's the Affleck Batman. Yeah, and I ended up selling it for like um, more than double what I paid for it. So that's cool. We got an unmasked Bale Batman. That's pretty neat. And what is this? Almost looks like a female Batman Beyond. I don't know anything about a lot of those characters. Wow, look at that evil uh, Flash. Hmm. So, lots of new DC figures in Target. More DC than Marvel at this point. That's cool. That Brainiac back there, I like that. Some G.I. Joe classified, Batman. Then they in the wrestling section is pretty dry. They got that Hogan. I guess it's from his Japan days. There's a chase of that. This Lou Albano looks really good. I like the scan on that. I like the shirt. That's one of the better legend figures, man. They did a really good job of the face scan on that. And then they got the Sultan. Anybody know who the Sultan is? What who was that? What character did he end up being? Put that in the comments down below. The Sultan. I'll give you a hint. He's technically part of the bloodline. And then there's a Daniel Bryan pay-per-view limited edition. Can't be too limited if it's in Target. I was going to leave and then I went down this aisle. Look, they got this mini brands. It's all little KFC toys. Finger looking good. That That's what we're doing now, making mini brands of KFC. So they've got these uh, affordable dentures and implants. You get your teeth fixed while you get your boobs done next to Barnes & Noble. They didn't have a lot on the end cap, so I figured I'd show you. They've expanded their section of a vinyl that's related to uh, soundtracks. So they got all these Guardians of the Galaxy. But the price is so high. They got the score vinyl and the, for some of them, and also the songs. The actual soundtrack. Turning red. There's that Mean Girls. No, thank you. West Side Story. Color Purple. And they even got a lot of these cast recordings of Broadway hits on vinyl. Really? Yeah, speaking of that, see? I like the the uh, special editions that have the disc or the uh, the record. It's got the artwork, makes up the whole record. And then some of them do like splatter effects and stuff on them. Stranger Things, There, this is one of those again that's you either get the score or you get the actual soundtrack. Barbie. Pulp Fiction is an awesome soundtrack. See, like that one. It's like the whole uh, record is just artwork. Classic Batman. 89. You got the Dark Knight. 
Black Panther. None of this really interests me. The movie that we're going to do the watch along on, I found the soundtrack on vinyl in here. If you guys know what that is, put in the comments down below. Robocop. That's pretty neat. I like that metallic cover on there. It says it's got like gray metallic actual uh, albums in there. Slaughterhouse Five. There's another Batman. Spider Man. So this is the example of the Stranger Things where it's got the actual songs from the 80s on there. Um, I think I've got that one. I think I bought it at Walmart when it was clearanced. Another picture disc there. I like those. Like I said, Forrest Gump is a good soundtrack. Another Spider-Man picture disc and Sesame Street. So a lot of those probably exclusive to Barnes & Noble. The Crow, hey, that's pretty timely. We've got the 4K releasing this week. I don't really know any songs that were on there. Grease is good. Spider-Man. Frozen. No, thank you. The Graduate. Simon and Garfunkel tunes on there. Lots of vinyl in this store. And I'm not going to spend too much time looking through here, but I thought I'd show you a couple of um, TV things they got. They got Perry Mason here. A bunch of seasons of that. Not too shabby on a price. And then got the movies. 30% off. It's got a little mini TV section. Oh my God, Quantum Leap. You guys remember what we did with that? Yeah, we threw that shit in the trash. Shit's Creek. Speaking of shit. A couple seasons of Creep Show. I like Creep Show. But you can get those on Blu-ray. Kolchak, The Night Stalker. I love The Night Stalker. That is a very underrated show. Highly recommend you get that. You can get it on Blu-ray or DVD um, from Kino. And then, hey, speaking of watch-alongs, there's The Three Amigos. 40% off, man. And then we saw this last week. It's still sitting here where I put it. Seems like old times. Why that has no Blu-ray release, I don't know. Same with this. Can't Buy Me Love. Why does that not have a Blu-ray release? And then Cannonball Run. Try finding that on streaming. You talk about buying and buying physical media. I, that is like extremely hard to find. I know I've shown you these before, but I wanted to mention them again because these are some of my favorite movies that are on DVD and are hard to find Blu-ray. So I think that's going to be about it for this store. Um, Fantastic Mr. Fox is another title I highly recommend. So here we are looking online. Everybody kind of knows what um what the main release that everybody was getting this week is it's a crow so there's your crow 4k with slip cover and there's a uh, crow 4k steel book now that's the one that i'm looking i was looking for i know a lot of people got the walmart one and uh, we'll talk about more of that about that in the haul portion of the video but high noon came out on 4k then we've got the original fletch from kino i'm interested in that then we got joysticks that you've seen me talk about that in a previous hunt video then we got Fletch Lives. Then you got the 4K Steelbook, The Crow from Walmart. Uh, that's the Walmart exclusive. I was late uh, getting that and it sold out. But hey, uh, it's available back now online. At least it was yesterday. Um, I ordered it. I, it should come in the next day or so. I'll compare the two maybe in a video. Uh, we got a Scooby-Doo double feature. We got Hardware Wars. That's an MVD Rewind Collection release. Night Falls on Manhattan. Uh, the Mask of Fu Manchu, One from the Heart, that's a Francis Ford Coppola Presents uh, 4K. I'm not uh, uh, familiar with that movie very much. We got a Criterion, we got the Addams Family 1 and 2 double feature in 4K. I like those movies well enough, but I'm okay with the Blu-rays that I have, so I'm not going to upgrade that. The Rain People was on Warner Archives. Several Warner Archives got Devil's Doorway. Then we got a Kino release of Secret Beyond the Door. We got the sixth season of Monk. They're pumping them damn Monk sets out. I might wait. You know, eventually they'll probably be cheaper on Kino, especially like next year at this time when they have their sale. Seeing Red, I don't know what that is. Uh, another MVD Rewind Collection, Sabotage. 
We got Shadow Zone, which I thought came out last week. I think I showed that in my haul video last week. I, I got that. That's a full moon release. Director Spotlight, Castle Keep, Bobby Deerfield. I'm um, not really interested in that myself. What else we got? We got their individual releases, the regular releases of the sect, the church, uh, bad CGI Gator. I don't know if that, that might be too cheesy for me. So, but if anybody's seen it, let me know if it's any good. Um, One Piece, there's the Blu-ray of High Noon. Kim's video, I was interested in maybe getting that. Um, I've skipped it for now. Uh, you guys let me know if it's any good, that release. I'm breaking Her Wheel, I don't even know what the hell that is, but... A most atrocious thing. Somebody told me that was good. If that's a case, let me know. Um, Catternick, don't know what that is in one piece. So let's see if there's anything down here. Stop Making Sense, 4K Digibook. That's the Talking Heads movie. And then that's it for the week. So, yeah, I guess the main release everybody's going to be talking about. Maybe Fletch, but The Crow. So let's get home, and I'll actually show you uh, what I picked up from uh, this week's releases. <laughs> So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host as always, Jeff Man 316. And I would normally say that's me on the sign, Jeff Man 316 Live. Come over on Sunday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern. That's where we watch a movie, watch along to a movie, usually on Tubi. Uh, talk pop culture, talk about movies, but you might not be able to see it because it's in blue, but I got my little Jaws poster there. That's in um, remembrance of uh, Susan Baccalini who played Chrissy the first victim in Jaws. She's on the poster. Um, yeah, we lost her recently. Uh, uh, that's an, such an iconic role. Um, one of the most popular openings of uh, not just horror movies, of movie history. Um, she will be missed. She was 77 years old. So uh, yeah, rest in peace, uh, Susan. So let's get into what you've been wanting, the haul of the week, and it's a short little stack here. So one of the movies that are on here I'm going to show you uh, is one I picked up prior to this week and I've shown it once but I'm thinking the official release came out this week it's a movie called joysticks I might do an unboxing of this if you want because this is a very uh, cool design here it's like an old Atari cartridge so there was a, or a release of this it was supposed to come out uh, earlier and it had an audio issue so they pulled it I ended up getting a copy of that but this is the fixed version. So yeah, check out stores or online and get joysticks and you'll get the corrected audio. So this is another movie that came out a week or so ago that uh, I didn't get and I had it on order. Um, it ended up being, this is a manufactured on demand disc. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but basically they burn it when you buy it. Walden, it stars Emil Hirsch and, and uh, Shane West. The concept seemed pretty good. He's a stenographer. Who finds out he's got a terminal illness so then when he thinks people are being wronged he takes justice as you can see in the background into his own hands um, if you're not familiar like I said burn on the man look at your discs if they look like that if they're dark and you can see where they've been burned um, that's a burn on the man disc this one actually has artwork made onto the disc so they usually do a good job you just have to be really careful sometimes I've noticed they're a little temperamental when it comes to getting fingerprints on them so if you have any trouble with it make sure you wipe them clean i'm pretty sure this next movie also came out last week i didn't know whether i was going to get it but when it was such a light week i went ahead and ordered this it's a burt reynolds movie that i haven't i've have, i remember seeing it back in the day didn't really like it it's from 1979 uh starting over because it's just one not a typical burt reynolds type movie it's got jill claiborne candace bergen that's her right there in the middle that's murphy brown if you don't remember yeah, so I'm um, very interested. Obviously, I didn't really like this when I was younger because I wanted Bert to be, uh, you know, in stuff like Gator, Smokey and the Bandit, that kind of stuff. So I'll revisit this now, and I think I'll like it a little better. So that's a Kino title. So speaking of Kino titles, I was able to get two this week of that I've been waiting on. We've got the classic Chevy Chase movie Fletch from Kino. Uh, I've been looking forward to this release. As we say, the carpet matches the drapes. This is a great upgrade over the artwork. It's on the Blu-ray that I've got. So it's got some special features there. you got an audio commentary. And I think a lot of those special features are ported over from the original disc. This is uh, one of my favorite Chevy Chase movies from 1985. 
And then along with that, we obviously get the sequel, Fletch Lives. I always like this cover artwork, you know, reminiscent of a movie like Gone with the Wind. It says, when there's more trouble than one man can handle, there's more than one man for the job. Because obviously, uh, he does a lot of disguise work in there. Kind of reminds me of Peter Sellers from the Pink Panther movies when he tries to get in disguise. But the cool thing about this is, it, it looks like there's a lot of special features. And I don't remember there being any special features on the original disc. I popped the original Universal disc into my player and it goes straight into the movie and says there isn't a menu or anything. So you get a commentary, you get uh, multiple featurettes, theatrical trailers, you get a profile of um, Julianne Phillip. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I love Cleavon Little. You know, he's pretty famous for being in uh, Blazing Saddles. So Fletch lives. And what I'll do is obviously this is the poster artwork for both of these. In comparison, I pulled out my titles. This is the fucked up artwork that they released on the original Fletch movie. Look at that garbage. And then obviously they did use that, but there's special features listed on this Fletch. There's nothing listed on this. And like I said, I put it in there, nothing came up. So Fletch lives, if you don't get it for anything else, as a total upgrade. So two ch classic Chevy Chase movies from 85 and 89. Very disappointed that they didn't know this is based on a book series, that they didn't go back and make more Fletch movies. So I got two more titles that I wanted to tell you about that I picked up this week. Uh, one is a, uh, both of these are 4Ks. I got the um, Severin release of Cemetery Man. I know they released a big set that had Cemetery Man, like the church and the sect in there. I'm not interested in those titles. This is the only one I really like. Uh, I always like this movie. I'm glad to get it upgraded in 4K. Um, and then the last one is everybody got their Walmart pre-orders of The Crow. I didn't pre-order it because I didn't know which version of The Crow I wanted. So I ended up getting this one. I got this is the uh, the version that I got. Um, got this online from, I think, Orbit DVD. And so uh, if you want me to open this so you can see the difference, I'll throw up maybe the Walmart artwork on here so you can see that and give me one second i'll get into this okay it's pretty much got one of those acrylic slips like lionsgate puts on a lot of their stuff this is paramount though but it's reminiscent of lionsgate it's got a j card it's got some of the sticky tic tac on it so there's that here's the actual movie and here's the back cover i'm not a fan of how they did that the ceiling of it there that's a little cheesy but um it slides off and you get brandon lee there that is i like that cover there and then there's the back that's the classic artwork everybody's seen and so pretty cheesy on the disc artwork on both the blu-ray and the dvd i mean on the 4k why don't i say dvd so i'm a, that this set the 4k would be region free i'm assuming the blu-ray is region b but look at that you can see his eyes there i like this i like this artwork a little bit better than the walmart one but i've got the walmart one on the way and obviously the first wave sold out and then randomly this past week it was back in stock so mine says it's on the way so when i get it maybe i'll unbox it in a short or something and compare the two i'm not sure if i'm going to try to get this off but this these are stickers you can feel that it, it's raised on there i might try to get that off of that cover um when i go to put it in um, a case so i guess probably also the walmart one exclusive is going to have the digital code and this one didn't so it was a really light week so what did you guys pick up um i was glad to you know to get a mostly catalog stuff um was what i picked up if you want to check it you know i got to get this this is a catalog title joysticks this is new so basically everything else would be catalog titles so what did you uh pick up this week did you get the walmart version of the crow did uh did you get that version did you get fletch did you get fletch lives um yeah we got a pretty good mix there of movies a nice little stack so hopefully you liked the video if you did like comment subscribe share do all the normal youtube stuff I really love you guys. Keep supporting me and I'll keep making great content. 
If you are a subscriber, do not forget to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. I'm also probably going to do a giveaway soon. We're less than 50, I think, subscribers from 3,000, and I'll do some type of giveaway. Not exactly sure what I'm going to give away yet. Um, I threw out some ideas in the past. They might not be options now. And then, as like I said, rest in peace, Roger Corman and Jaws, uh, Susan Baccalini. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been Jeff Man 316 As always, I'm your pop culture reporter, and I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there.